you guys. Good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela effects of the like. Thank you for joining in. Welcome all Mandela effectings. I have a good one for you. How do you throw a get together for a meteor? You have to plan it. <laughs> uh, the joke is related to this brand new Mandela effect um, that we have. Um, Eva brought it to our attention from Once Upon a Timeline. That's her channel. And if you yep. just listen to her for just a, a couple seconds here, just just listen to this video real quick, and then we'll show some more pictures. The uh, meteors have changed now; they're more so colorful. So I heard someone mention just recently that a certain meteor shower was showing a lot of green meteors, and I'm like, what? Now I have heard in recent months that a specific meteor was seen here or there, and it had a color. And I was already suspicious of that. I don't really remember uh, big meteors or shooting stars being colored. I thought maybe, well, once in a while. But then when I heard that each meteor shower is known for its own colors, I started to get really suspicious. So I looked into it. So here we go. Why do meteors glow in vibrant colors? Well, I've never heard of them glowing in vibrant colors. But here we go. Okay, now there's going to be some variation in what they say is happening. Each location is kind of contradicting itself. I think I call this one kind of the new school thought uh, mixed with the old school thought on this one. Yeah, and uh, I'm joined with Teresa Lynch. Teresa, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing, Brian, this Sunday afternoon? Yeah, Teresa's my residue hunter. She finds a lot of these, uh, the residues that are left behind after a change. And... Teresa, let me ask you, do you remember there being different colored meteors, or do you remember, like, one set color? Uh, just one set color. Always been, like, a white, white, silvery color, and that's it. Never any other colors. Never. Well, I mean, it appears that this may be a possible change. Um, I mean, look at, look at her video. 70 thumbs up, zero thumbs down. Have you... This is meteor chemistry. This is that same picture that she brought up, uh, Eva. And it says here, Have you noticed that not all meteors you see falling are the same color? Growing up in the dark countryside away from city lights, I saw them sometimes, and their color occasionally seemed to be an unusual and striking shade. Other times, entire meteor showers tend to be a certain color, like the quadrantids, for instance, tend to be blue. Um, the reason for this is down to the chemical composition, okay? So, remember guys, in case this changes, nitrogen and oxygen are red. The, the color stream on iron is yellow. Calcium has a purple color. Sodium has an orange or kind of like a tangerine color. And magnesium has like a, a greenish turquoise color. Uh -huh. And... It says here that these look accurate to me. Incidentally, a flame test for calcium shows a rich red color. But in this case, I'd assume that if you don't find calcium without magnesium, so you get a purple. So, as for nitrogen and oxygen, I guess the color is due to chemical compounds in the meteor breaking down. Atomic oxygen emits red light when it's excited. I didn't know that. Which is actually why... Aro I can't pronounce it. Aurorae are red after heavy solar storms. When charged particles oh, from the Aurora sun. Aurelis. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, and it was something like that. Now, yeah. look at this picture. You see it's like blue and purple. and uh, have, you, have you guys ever seen a meteorite or a meteor hit the ground? A small one, maybe, and pick it up? I mean, it, it, it's funny, it's fun to imagine, I mean, what they're composed of. I mean, they're made of all these rare metals. Um, let's see. So, I don't, I don't remember these things being, I remember them being like a white-yellow color, you know, um, every time I've seen them before in the sky. And uh, they, they usually come around wintertime, normally. Oh. Right? Fall or winter. Yeah. That's when you typically see them. The colder weather for me, mm -hmm. too. And they're supposed to come from what? The Oort cloud. Remember? Remember the Oort cloud? Um, that's And this is between Mars and Jupiter, I believe. That band. They come from an Oort cloud. 
but they, but they, they can come from any any other place as well but they typically come from there let's see that so the color a meteor produces as it burns up in the atmosphere is mainly determined by two things the speed and the chemical and again you see this picture right here Th this one's actually a little bit better let me see if I can zoom in on that so you have blue green and orange orange being calcium uh, green being like a copper color uh -huh. and uh, blue would be like cesium or something close to that so yeah definitely uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty interesting though Brian all mm -hmm. the different um, have you noticed and um, I'm gonna bring this up a minute have you noticed everything now in this new reality is all rainbow based colors like animals yeah. and all types of bugs and birds and it seems like a lot of rainbow things are um, being implemented mm. in this reality you agree on that yeah and they are they're showing up these different colors um, what what is the belts of Saturn do you know or um, what's that thing that shows up at night there's something uh, something in the night sky like at sunset Oh, you mean Venus the, Belt or something? Yeah, that was something new that came out. What was it? Can't what oh, the Belt of Venus. That's what it's called. Venus's girdle. Yeah. yeah. I have never never heard about this in my life, but yeah, a lot of pinks and purples. If you notice at night, and it it looks like a belt across the sky, like kind of like this right here. You guys ever see that? I mean, this is just so, something that. Just shows up recently. I I remember when the sun sets, the sun sets, and that's it. Now all of a sudden you got this brand new view of the the, the vision of the, the pink and the purple. I've been seeing a lot of that too, Brian. Here where I live at. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's new. I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, definitely adds a new a new sight at night. I mean it. I love looking at sunsets and um, sunrises. I noticed lately that when the sun comes up, it's like a bright orange uh, here this time of the year. It's real pretty, like a reddish orange. I'm not lying. And you can actually get great photographs of it if you have a good good enough camera. Hey, um. Yeah. Hey, Brian, so speaking of, of stars and stuff, um, I was at Target yesterday paying a bill, and I went into the electronics section, and they had a picture that NASA had um, had on one of their TVs, and I want to send it to you. It's supposedly it's a picture of the star, and it really is bizarre looking. I want to send it to you. Okay. Well, dude, can you I'm tell like, me? Can you tell it? me what the link is, and I'll go there? No, actually, um, it's in my camera. I'm going to send it to you. I took a picture of it yesterday. It's really bizarre. Thanks, guys. Have a great Mandela Fit Nine. God bless. Check that out. What I got, what I deserved, you know.